Welcome to this exciting tutorial where we're going to teach you how to set up some amazing scripts for your strike pack in Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, with these scripts you can give yourself an edge over your opponents and improve your overall gameplay experience. So if you're ready to level up your game, let's get started. Uh, before we begin, let's talk about the benefits of using a strike pack. It's the device that attaches to your controller and has additional features and functionalities that aren't available on a regular controller. Using a strike pack can improve your gameplay experience by providing you with additional customization options, improved accuracy, and better control of your weapons. If you haven't yet bought one, pause the video now and click the Amazon link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it. Now let's learn about the good stuff. The scripts. First off, let's talk about the rapid fire script. Uh, with rapid fire, you can fire your weapons at a much faster rate than is possible with the manual button presses. This is especially useful when you're dealing with multiple enemies or trying to take down a shield. Uh, rapid fire will allow you to quickly eliminate the opponent and move on to the next target. Uh, the second mod that we'll be going over is anti-recoil. This script is designed to reduce the recoil of your weapon and improve your accuracy. It's perfect for those long-range engagements where you need to take down an opponent without missing a single shot. The anti-recoil script will help you keep your sights on the target and eliminate them quickly and efficiently. Now that you know what these scripts can do, let's get into setting them up. To activate rapid fire for your pistol only, you're going to want to turn on your strike pack into mod mode. You do that by holding the left mapping button, as shown, and tapping on the right one. Once you've done that, you're just going to need to make sure that all your mods are off, and you're going to want to hold down left on the D-pad for about 4 seconds until the lights light up, and then click Y, or triangle, on the PS4 two times, and it should be vibrating in uh, beats of two. Then let go of everything. Uh, after that, what you're going to want to do is hold down right on the D-pad and hit Y again while having your pistol out. Uh, as you can see, when you do that, while your pistol is out, uh, your primary weapon, if you switch to that, will be shooting as normal, but your pistol will be shooting rapid fire. If you accidentally set it up so that your primary gun has rapid fire but your pistol doesn't, all that you're going to want to do is open a menu like this, hit the three lines, and then press Y. As you can see, I will only shoot one bullet. Uh, out of my pistol now, and I will shoot rapid fire out of my R4C. Uh, this is also useful if you're using uh, Dokubi, for example, and you want your primary to be have rapid fire, but your secondary, the SMG-12, to have uh, primary fire, uh, just standard automatic fire. Um, all right, next up, the anti-recoil. Uh, first, to enable the anti-recoil mod, or mod 3, hold down left on the D-pad for 5 seconds until the top of your strike pack lights up, as shown. To navigate to the anti-recoil mod, press square to scroll up, or uh, X for Xbox, until you reach the third mod, or the third light. If you accidentally scroll too far, then click X or A for Xbox to scroll back down. Once the third light is... Once the third light is lighting up, press triangle or Y to activate the mod. It should vibrate periodically in beats of one. Now what you're going to want to do is hop in a practice game with the gun you want and adjust the recoil on. To adjust the strength of the recoil while still holding down left on the D-pad, press L1 or LB to increase the anti-recoil value. This will weigh down your weapon, reducing the vertical recoil. The idea is to reduce it to a point where there's no longer any vertical recoil. Um, it begins to have downward recoil. If it begins to have downward recoil, tap R1 or RB to reduce the anti-recoil value. Once the anti-recoil is where you want it to be, release the left D-pad. Uh, remember that the ideal anti-recoil is different for every weapon. For games where you keep your weapon the whole game, I would suggest making it as little recoil as you can. However, for games like Siege, what I personally use it for, I suggest mapping the anti-recoil button, the anti-recoil mod to a very low recoil gun, for example, Frost uh, Assault Rifle. This will in turn cause no guns to shoot towards the floor or have downward recoil and still make it a lot easier to control recoil. You can also um, run flash hider on heavy vertical recoil guns to maximize this uh, advantage, I guess is what I'll say. All right, that's it. You successfully set up the anti recoil and the rapid fire for your secondary gun on your strike pack and Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, remember, experiment with different settings to find what works best for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. We have many more exciting videos and tutorials on Strike Packs, including a video coming out soon on how to AFK Renown and XP farm with a Strike Pack. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss them. If you have any questions or suggestions for future...
For future tutorials, please leave them in the comment sections below. We value your feedback and are always looking for ways to improve our content and provide you with the best possible experience. Thank you for choosing to watch our video, and we hope to see you soon for more strike pack tips and tricks.